really see one? Not. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Try the slow mo. Weren't you there, Diane? I was still in here. Oh, oh. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Not Sometimes that night. happens. And I have never seen a green flash, and I've spent a lot of time at sea. <laughs> really? So I'm not saying it's not there. I've never said that. <laughs> but. Someone's like, what is this green flash you all are talking about? Green flash. I just learned about it myself, uh, but I'll let somebody else who's way more <laughs> familiar, because I only think I saw it. Ooh, look the at these current waves in the <laughs> sand here. <laughs> but it has oh, to do with that's the sunset. From a cool cool. Creature or something? Zoom in, please. Yeah, creatures are current. I think current, but I don't know anything. <laughs> oh. It's like very localized. Very localized, yeah. I'm thinking creature. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards creature too, but mm -hmm. that looks yeah, like tracks yeah. for sure. Who's to say? If it was on the beach, it would look like little wave prints or something. But down here, it's... Well, we know there are internal waves in the bottom of the ocean. This is true. Oh, I need to yeah. hear about these internal waves. On a blue water day. <laughs> we need uh, a mole. Yeah. One of our expedition leads on other expeditions. Fish. Small fish. Mm -hmm. Little black fish. Really small fish. What if we zoom in on this one? Go ahead now. Uh, what, what am I zooming in? It's to the see. right of the laser. The, the shrimp here? Oh, is it a shrimp? Oh, it's a shrimp. Oh. Oh, wow. Translucent shrimp. See ya. <laughs> I think we can do one more ship move. Okay. Do you want the same heading? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move? Oh, sorry. Squat lobster. <laughs> Unusually far from a yeah. coral or sponge. Yeah. What's uh, he up to? It's so like starkly white against the uh, sediment. Yeah. Are squat lobsters only found in the deep sea that we know of? Don't know. Hmm. Uh, Annabelle's on the Google in the sky for you. Yes, <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> Worldwide, distributed from the near surface to the deep sea. Oh, so no, <laughs> not just the deep sea it seems. And supposedly one species occupies caves above sea level. Ooh. So this must be a very broad categorization. Maybe? Sounds like it could be. that ridge is kind of petered out now. Yeah, I it's not like as pronounced. The, yeah, in the high yeah. pack view, it kind of smears out a little bit here yeah. before it picks up again. It's yeah. a little bit more ridginess over this way, but not, well. Hmm. You know, maybe I'm getting sucked into it curling around oh. as a cliff. Maybe that's what's happening. Mm. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to follow this because the strike of this now is, I don't know, Ooh. 290 or something. So, hmm. what? maybe it's a fool's errand to keep trying to chase that. Well, I think it still goes up. If you look at high pack, it almost looks like there is a line that's almost 360. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. I was thinking it's not going to be as razor edge as it was. Yeah, no, it, I think it's wider here. Yeah. We'll just keep climbing. Raj. Are you pulling me again? Yeah, absolutely. 
Ann. Just had to have a peek. Never had a dog get so excited at something it just pulled right to the edge of his leash. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, I really miss my dog, but I definitely feel like I'm walking him sometimes when <laughs> we're down here together. Like, no, Trevor, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't race towards oh other gosh. animals. <laughs> Fetch the fish rock. alone. <laughs> Oh, it's the sound effects that got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to bark. <laughs> There's Bobby Argus. Oh, God. <laughs> Can we do a reset, please? Yep. Hey, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Wow, somebody's asking how do sea cum cucumbers reproduce? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing boring about being a sea cucumber. Nothing. <laughs> I think your whole life would be. <laughs> I don't know. Lynette, do you mind zooming out on high pack a bit? Sure. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it oh, looks that's like that's going to be spicy towards the end of the night. Yep. Yeah. That'll be spicy. awesome. Spicy. That's going to yeah. be us again. Oh, yeah. It's going to be even more knifey. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> wow. Exciting. Between two and three, it looks spicy, too. Hopefully they don't leave us with oh, the two, red three. pinnacle, <laughs> lame pinnacle. They're going to. So that'll be actually Five. probably a cliff wall. Here? Yeah, that might be really This cliffy. looks really steep. Yeah, that might yeah, be like be two so ship cool. moves. All right, I think the next move we can go any which way. Or maybe this section might be a good time to leave it for the next watch if we're not we got a couple meters left and then some swing. Yeah, five meters. Yeah. So we're not swinging into the wall. This ridge reminds me of some of the hikes in Hawaii on those knife edges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense that they were formed in the same way.
We're just about ready for a shift change uh, for those tuning in. So uh, may hear a little bit of a commotion and then the next watch will be settled in. So just bear with us for a second. Closing time. <laughs> <laughs> just for us. <laughs> Not for her, cannot <laughs> Just for us. <laughs> the humans. Diane, did you find an ID on that purple sea cucumber? Well, I can get it to family, I There's believe. There's a cucumber now. So same in the oh. same family as the other sea cucumber that we no the first sea cucumber that we saw today, the mm -hmm. Cinelactidae. Mm -hmm. Steve, let's do Got a it. handover while we're zoomed in on this oh. sea cucumber. Oh, another one. Oh, great. Steve is gone. Oh. No. no, no zoom. <laughs> Steve is handing over as we speak. No zoom. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, hand over time. Bye. Does Paul have a mustache?
left hand side. Butterfinger. Really? <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. I should use the screen controls very much more. I was just checking to see where we were. Like the pretty shy. Oh, look, there it is. There's the pretty shy. And it flipped. Hey Dwight, um, do you have a preference on which side of the ridge you want to be on or on top? Um, uh, well, it's not even really much of a ridge, is it? It's just kind of a slope. I guess, to, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. I, I guess yeah. the smart thing to do is head towards the steepest, the, the closest together contours. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so that's going to be on the west side. Yeah, bring your head. Uh, yeah, I think Turn that's away. right. I mean, we can to your right. we can zigzag our way to waypoint two, but uh, we don't want to go too far out of the way. Well, actually, waypoint three. Um, these are fake waypoints that Lynette made just to oh. give give us an idea of like where it is. Yeah, we don't have to really follow them. Here. True. Yeah. There's uh, helpful references. Gotcha. Well. You guys Bring in the front head. row can pick which side you think might be better. Roger. Bring your Roger. head to the right a little bit. So, and you can feel free to move waypoint 2.2 .2 to where where you want it to be. You know. Yep. Sounds good. Can you not bring your head to the right? Oh, there it went. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Let's bring it down to 20 meters. All right. More civilized measurement unit. <laughs> Sorry, I meant I was not listening to the uh, conversation there. I was trying to get the tether up of uh, Atlanta. Uh, just wondering if you had a preference on which side of the I don't know if this is a slope to be on. All right. Uh, I want to be on the side with all the corals. All right. Eight to 12 is back in, back in the saddle. How's oh, everyone doing? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good. Feeling good? I'm feeling well much, well rested. much better. Yeah. <laughs> Wake. <laughs> What's, uh, I don't know. What have we been doing? 315? 40 meters. I think perch three. This is not. Hickey can I nine? Okay. Forty meters at bearing three one five, please. I think that's the most sediment I've seen this whole expedition. Yeah. Better stash it, or it won't be there. Alrighty. Could do a push core. That could be an interesting experiment. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we introduce the our watch, King George and the Coral Hunters slash cliff divers? Um, I think the question that we were talking about is um, after we share our names and our positions and then people will share the Hawaiian names of our positions. Um, 
we can share our favorite childhood movie. Sounds good. Awesome. I could just talk louder too, if that's helpful. Either way. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I Looks doable. I'm on the bottom one. Yeah, so my name is Malanai. I am the Science Communication Fellow, or Kumuao slash Mehaimo Lelo. And my favorite childhood movie was Shrek. The good first one. ever Shrek. Very good one, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Okay, Ipo, your turn. Aloha, I am Ipo, or Ho Ipo, and um, I am the cultural liaison on this trip, and my favorite childhood movie was Lion King. Yeah, and I'm the Kanaka Hawaii. Awesome. Nice. I like, I like, I like Lion King. You guys want to try for a push core here? <laughs> yeah, it looks push coreable to me. Cool. I'm gonna hold Might position. as well. This is more sediment than we've seen, uh, that I've seen anyway, the whole cruise, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. You want ship to hold position? Yeah. Yeah, it looks uh bridge this is enough just touch there and it looks uh looks muddy enough too maybe yeah. to work yeah. out. Hope so. Uh, please hold position. Do it, Paul. Alright. Alright, so I'll do my brief introduction. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. My name is Ryan Gasparo. I'm a graduate student uh in biology at Temple University, uh coral biologist. Um and my favorite movie as a child was Jurassic Park. And that sort of explains mm -hmm. a lot, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and he is, a, he is a Kanaka Epikema, or Akiakamai. Hi, everyone. I'm Dwight Coleman from the University of Rhode Island, a uh, marine geologist, uh, expedition leader on this cruise. And um, let's see. I have so many. Uh, I'll go with a good Disney classic, The the Jungle Book. Oh, mm. that's a good one. And he is a alakai. I didn't see the remake. I don't <laughs> think I did either. <laughs> Can we, uh, let's do 20 meters there. It's got great songs, King Louie and... We'll do yeah. 20 meters, 315. Bridge, this is Nevin. Can we get 20 meters uh, at bearing 315, please? Change my mind. 20 meters north. Let's do 20 north. Bridge, this is Nevin. Well, let me push that out a little bit for you, Paul. No, this, no, this should be good. I'll uh, change uh, cameras to ding, 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 cameras. Yeah. Oh, that's very helpful. Oh, do I go ahead and go? Yeah, your turn, Fiona. Oh. Okay, hi everybody, I'm Fiona. I am from the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. I am currently working as a coral restoration and marine monitoring tech, and I'm also going to school at the University of Guam studying biology. And my favorite movie of all time is Fifty First Dates. And I can <laughs> say that was my childhood movie because I was a child at the time. <laughs> wow. And she is a haumana or a hu'ea. We've had some. Well, <laughs> We've had some really good movies to <laughs> share. I love this far. Adam Sandler so much. Adam Sandler, <laughs> if you're listening to this, I love you. <laughs> uh, a New Hampshire guy. Perhaps Kotachi. Hi everyone, my name's Kotachi. I'm in the front row. I'm a navigator, or Ho'o Kele. Um, my favorite 
childhood movie was, I think Disney had a Hercules cartoon, oh, yeah. right? Yes. I really like that one. <laughs> yes, I've watched that. I watched it for the first time, like maybe within the past year. It was very, um, that was cool. Yeah, I like that one. So I'm going to sit down here on the rock so we're not, we don't uh, build the thing up with mud. Be a rock good. Under right there. An elegant landing in the rocks. First push car sample of the whole expedition, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. It's exciting. Okay, come down real slow. I'm going to get my papers ready. Come in a little bit there, Puesta. Come on, Kaya. Kahiauli. Oh, I guess we haven't gotten oh, yeah. yet. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> these are challenging. <laughs> okay. See the two shadows coming together? Slow. Uh, you want to go slow, not to disturb the... Push core sample. Once you get there, you just want to go nice, gentle. There's a rock right there, though. You might want to get away from it. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do. Smear the uh, can I top layer. No, can I hold Shake it, it out. Move up current. Trying to get nothing disturbed around the push core area. Looks like a good spot. Once you commit, commit. There you go. Nice. So that's Keep about pushing. A nice, gentle pressure. Should go a little deeper. If you're lifting the sub up, you're pushing a little too hard. Hmm. Have to see how coarse this is. That feels like about all I can get. Okay, Let's see what you get. Pretty good. Now, uh, basically, come back out. Tilt it up so that it's not going to fall out. We'll uh, find out. Yeah, you hope you don't have to do that. If you pull out kind of slow, not real, not real fast, but not real slow. It's a micro court. Yep, we can keep it. Why not? I think it's. It's going to fall out? It's going to fall out. It's going to fall out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go out. So I'm going to go out where it's a little deeper. I'll shake this one In out. November, this was a fairly You just got to shake event. it off. Shake <laughs> it off. <laughs> I didn't want to get muddy, but... Different uh, grippers from what I remember on the... Uh, they're not hockey pucks or softballs. Yeah, it's going to be challenging to get in at that angle, but let's see if Paul can do it. So we're going to land back of her coming rock here. Mm. Lift up a little. Mm. Can we uh, lift up more? Alright. Somewhere to the left of the lasers probably. Where it gets dusty. I kinda wanna knock this thing straight against the porch. Is that an option? Is nope. that a bad okay. Got it out like that, so should be able to get it back in. Oh, nope, that's there it. There we go. Oh, well, that was too deep. So we'll see how the <coughs> silt came out the top. Yeah, so I lost the top of the sample there. Is that okay? <laughs> Try again. Got it. Well, it depends on what they're interested in, but um, they're usually interested in the top. Yeah, the very top is oh. sort of important, but... Um, so that's why it's important not to dust it up. 
exactly like I'm doing right now. Yeah, but we'll, we'll have to go to a new area. We'll move. But that was a good, uh, good recovery. Nope. Good practice. That good one practice. Might be done. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get all this out. Yeah, it'll come out. Well, depending on that consist consistency, but based on what we saw the first time, I'd say it'll come out. <laughs> Depends on how patient the back row is. I think you got it out. Yeah. Using the water to push it out the top kind of worked. Yeah. All right. You're going to force me to get there. It'll be muddy, aren't you? like some uh, sea cucumber trails or something there yeah yeah definitely surprised we don't see more of them in this swing down our mouth spot. just a little it's right under bubble camera and also yeah maybe lift it up a bit though I can also give you a bubble that's Thanks probably helpful no. It's going to hit there when I land. Dwight, what do we typically do with the push cores? Do we sift them to Yeah, a this moment? might just get just archived and sent to the lab if, if Beth or, or Val or Leela aren't interested in it. Um, it'll just become part of the archive to sort of represent this. But um, the folks that are interested in nodules and uh, ferromanganese crusts, sometimes the um, s studying the sediment uh, helps. Yeah. Just like they collect a Niskin sample. Sure. So um, I'm really doing this because we can more than <laughs> because there's more a request for sure. it. <laughs> There's a like a clay layer under there, and you're pushing real hard, and then you bust through the clay. And it now you have to keep it vertical the whole way. Oh, okay. No tilting. <laughs> and you have to get it in before it poops out. Some in there. Some in there. Well, keep it anyway. And no, it's falling out. God. Yeah, oh, God. That one's gone. 
try to get it away from the the basket. I mean the oh yeah, bio box. close the uh, yeah. Just that you want to close that just to protect the other samples. Try one more if you want. I I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Yeah. It's not really an important sample. I just uh, oh thought it'd be worthwhile. Can we still get that in there? No. No, oh, it it's see all the stuff shaking out the top and yeah you can I don't think you'll be able to get it in with that yeah yeah that's that what I'm saying it's angle too covered angle. Um, yeah if you want to drive to a new site and then just wrap this up Can we do another 20 meters, 315? There's a couple cucumbers. Bridge, this is Nev. <laughs> 20 meters at bearing 315. Not too fast, not too slow. Not too fast, not too slow. There's a cucumber. Loli. <laughs> is that what you guys call them? Yeah. See cucumbers are lowly. 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 Cucumber, if you want, Jeff, yeah, while Paul's getting set up. Nice look there. Cool, it has that sort of purple oral yeah. surface. Which is the head and then which is the tail? I believe the purple side is probably the... Yeah. He's just head. resting. He's full. Yeah. He <laughs> a lot of sediments so processed there. One more time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Might have you stow it, though. Well, Megan was telling me that they grab the sand with I their... I was saying last night about yeah. pivoting. ...with their hands, yeah. and they eat right. it, and then they Pivot eat... Left the sand and uh, everything on it, uh, and then they poop out clean sand. Yeah, it comes right out of them like in tubes of sand, of sediment. It's pretty cool. I love that. Yeah, and they have a ring of tentacles there. around their mouth that are actually modified tube feet, like the same thing you see on the underside of a sea star. Mm -hmm. Tube you feet, so the same one. phylum of animals. What's that? You get ah. this one. Really? Yeah. Hey, crying on the <laughs> Tube feet. Gotta and then I was thinking, I feel like we need okay. a bunch of Loli and Waikiki well, I can, to clean the I sand can over there. I angle the core tube just as good as anybody else, yeah, trust I'm me. Yeah, eating a bunch of sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taking these uh, somewhere around Endeavor. We thought we were being clever getting core samples and we fused it. C completely melted it. Yeah, I've seen that happen before. What do you mean melted? It, it, we got into a pocket and it um, melted the acrylic tube, PVC tube.
Open it. That's what I'm doing. Whoever was in charge of putting that online may not have gotten to the part where they take what you entered and put it on yet. So maybe we can discuss with Megan about it. That's fine, guys. It's uh, there's there is I a don't sample know if there. There's anything in there or not? Don't worry about it. We'll call it a sample and uh, log it and see what we get when we recover. I'm seeing uh, some stuff wafting out of the top there. So I don't know if all those, uh, we should also put in the red book, but check those quivers should all have uh, big holes drilled in the bottom. Oh. So when you put it down in, it doesn't. If you shove it down in, so is that canceled? Hard, like I did there, the push core. It was, yeah, it, um, sort of, yeah. It I also pushes it we'll up through the top. Maybe I don't know. It's okay. worth keeping. But yeah, log it. Ready for a move? Yeah, Roger. Ready. Bridge, this is up. Can we get forty meters at bearing three one five, please? How does the rest of the front row feel about sharing their name or title and uh, their favorite childhood movie? <laughs> yeah, I come on. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm one of the ROV pilots um, flying Atalanta. And uh, I think one of my favorite childhood movies was Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> And Pa is a Pailaka Luuma. Sorry, Pailaka Mokulu. Mahalo. Uh, sitting to the right of Paul at the moment. Dan in the hurt chair. My favorite movie. Pretty much every Clint Eastwood movie yeah, ever. Childhood made. movie. Childhood movie. Childhood. Clint Eastwood, yes. My favorite childhood Clint Eastwood movie. Paint your wagon. <laughs> Dating myself horribly there. Yes. And Dan is also a Pailaka Mokulu. And I'm Jeff sitting in the video chair to the left of the one in the shadows. Um, realizing that I'm also the oldest one in the band. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking, everybody mentions movies. It's like, yeah, I watched that with my kid. Or, you know, I was I graduated from college by then. Um, I think so when I was... Did you see Paint Your Wagon at the drive-in with your parents? Yeah, actually, I think I did. <laughs> uh, and, and then you had the whole... In Portland, it was the independent station that ran Kelly's Heroes and all the, those old classic movies, but I think the if we're going with new movies, like you saw in the theater, there were two. Uh, one was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I thought that was funny or interesting. But as a kid, I loved Herbie the Love Bug. Good old Disney Herbie yeah, the Love good Bug. <laughs> and you know what? Everybody else, with the exception of Dan and Dwight sitting in this van, doesn't <laughs> necessarily realize is that when, you know, it's like, you all got to watch your childhood movies over and over and over again. Right. You know, I got to see Herbie the Love Bug. If I could convince my grandparents to take me, you know, three times, and of course by the third time they were just ready to <laughs> yeah. strangle us. I don't want to see this stupid movie anymore. You know, so we, we only got one shot to see it. So. That's right. So interesting. You though. youngins are so spoiled. You youngins, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these days. <laughs> Well, 
target there and not let that quite work out what it is. Could be a shipwreck. I think I saw that movie in the theater too, actually, Herbie the Love Herbie the Love Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, my, and it didn't hurt that my grandmother owned a Volkswagen, so I spent countless <laughs> hours pretending that, that her Volkswagen was Herbie. <laughs> And Jeff is our Kanakapa EVQ. Well, Katachi gets the A plus for memorizing his yeah. Hawaiian <laughs> role name. None of us <laughs> others have, have done that yet, sadly. <laughs> I think I'm lucky because mine's pretty short. Yeah, yours so is easy. The ROV pilot. Can we all be that? <laughs> <laughs> ROV pilots is intense. I've got Pailaka but I uh, don't remember the rest yet. Good job. Pailaka is definitely pilot, so yeah. you, you got the main gist of, of your, um, your title. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not going to restrict myself to ROVs here. I'm just a Pailaka. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I'm about it. Adelanta Pailaka. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I never liked that ROV pilot. You can't pitch and roll. You're not flying. <laughs> if you don't fly have to plane, maintain, if you don't have to drone. maintain airspeed, you're not flying. Yeah. So we're kind of operating. at tether limits here. Yeah, right. So we'll wait. Unfortunately, Ashton and I are not sitting on the same watch. Otherwise, it can be for for um, Amelia. One of the watches had me. The Argus pilot was a airplane pilot, and the Navigator was an airplane pilot. And, and we're searching for Amelia, who was a pilot. And Lindsay was ready to kill us by the end of two weeks. I guess so you you also pilot a ship, right? But it does have pitch and roll. Yeah. It's not controlling. It's pitch and roll, right? You can control the roll big time. I mean, cars can pitch metallic. and roll too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just not a not usually a good thing. No, no. Katachi, could you please tell me how far away the real waypoint three is? Yep. Well, the real waypoint three, please. Please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> From the ship, it's about seven hundred meters. Okay. Well, so something living down here. Yeah. Yeah. That's our goal for the end of our watch. A bamboo right. coral. To get there. Is this a bamboo coral, Ryan? Yes, it is. Is it a whipped bamboo coral? Yes, or you could say unbranched too. Either one is accurate. Awesome, thank you. Ipo, do you mind sharing um, a little bit about Ooh, this? Oh, tripod. in there, Jeff. Tripod? Pot, yeah, it looks like a tripod. Oh, uh, wow. Kahuaoli. Cool. Yeah, it is, I think. Oh, fishy. First one I've seen this cruise. It's right next to something else, too. I wonder if that's by design. Did it catch something? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like maybe like a hydroid or an anemone or something. Are these the same like flying fish that water. we see at the surface? No. OK. Oh, no, that's just its pectoral fin. Oh, maybe it's not a tripod fish. So here, I'm going to try it. Paul. It looks a little uh, wow. lateral, right? Make it's so pretty. It is very pretty. Oh, oh. Spooked. Oh, no, I guess. He is looks like it's using his pectoral fins to stand, stand up, but it's not like the tripod fish I've seen. Mm. That worked until it didn't. <laughs> Interesting. Did we get a capture of it? Yeah. Yes, we did. My 
really. It's Another shipment? Yeah, yeah, please keep it, keep it going. Bridge the step. Forty meters at three three zero, please. Is that a little call Carl there? there? Zoom in there a bit, Jeff. Little baby. He's a little baby. <laughs> Push it some more if you want. Do we know what it is? I'm looking. I'm not positive. It's nagging at me because I should know what it is, and I think I've seen these before. Yeah, we don't have our lifeline folks tonight mm. for some reason. Not sure why I keep coming around. What's going on here? Away from the chat. Whoa, look at it. Like. Yeah, it looks like an Umbulella species. Umbulella is the genus. Umbulella. Come wait for a second, Jeff. Oh my God, I need to sit down here. Sounds like fittingly, umbrella. umbrella shape at the top of it. Mm -hmm. Or an umbrella that's been caught in the wind. <laughs> Upward. Oh, thank you. Not very elegant landing. Surprised of all the sediment here on this really steep slope. Yeah. Probably keep moving, guys. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting on the vessel, anyways. Oh, okay. I botched the landing twice there. More Three cucumber tracks. Back on. Sit down hard on this stuff, then you get to drag it around forever. As soon as we stop and go back. Oh yeah, I can see a little bit of it falling off in the Argus see camp. The bubble too, yeah. This is a really pretty view of Atalanta looking at Herc. Yeah. Yeah, nice shot. Alright, you wanna bring your head back to 315 and we'll stay in the box. You want to change that now or for the next move? Uh, no, uh, it's uh, for, for Paul. Oh, okay. It, when we're um, just going along like this, it, Argus has the Another same heading as here. the ship's uh, speed. Take a zoom on this Polythorian, please. Yeah, right. Um, it makes it easier if we just keep her in the Argus picture. So that Umbulella we saw a minute ago was a type of sea pen. Now we're looking at okay, a type of sea cucumber. A lot different looking from the other guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of sort of spiky morphology. Oh, and out climbs a worm or something over here. Umbalula, umbalula. Not really moving. No, not too much. Good zoom, thanks. So like sitting on the almost looks like a drifter gorge yeah, right next to it. Yeah, the purple. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a scale worm, maybe. Yeah, scale worm for sure. 
do they eat them? Good question. No, I don't think so. I think they just process sediment. Oh. some outcrops. Maybe they'll see some more coral or sponges here. It's pretty sparse. What was the driving force for each one of you um, that drew you folks into the careers that you guys have today? Love of the ocean. Love of the ocean, love of animals. Technology, ships, yeah. rocks, science. <laughs> Mortgage payment. <laughs> Fame, fortune, notoriety. <laughs> Rich, this is Nev. Like little debris flows here. Four, 40 meters at uh, mm -hmm. 315, please. Sediment moving down slope. Place a gorget on that rock. There's one, yeah. Huh, I wonder, it could be that there's frequent kind of landslides here that yeah. uh, prevent the animals from populating the rocks. Yeah, it is very steep, huh? This one remained protected. A bit if you want to. Yeah, on a the other side of that rock. Yeah. Two, yeah. shrimp and a squat lobster in there. Kahiaoli. Yeah, I think shot any, um, Thanks. <sighs> That's why it wasn't working. I thought I had it on. Have you guys ever experienced um, an earthquake while on a dive? Experienced a volcanic eruption while on a dive. That's Almost pretty took cool. Out the ship. At Axial? No, um, somewhere between uh, New Zealand and Fiji. A loud boom, and the ship took off at wow. seven wow. knots with the RV in there. Oh my we gosh. were, of course, all freaking out the captain you know, we had to pull down and RV in the water and yeah called the bridge and we're like hey we're gonna lose the ROV in the pole and the captain said if we don't get out of here we might lose the boat so yeah wow we did we drug everything for I don't know I mean, went a couple miles there and got out of Dodge captain of the sona is there piloting you do at that point or is it sort of just no nope. <laughs> yeah and did you lose the vehicle uh no we didn't everything was all right we just came up a bit on the winch and yeah it, it just you know it's let it's toe fish yeah toe fish at that point that's crazy Captain slowed down. We were the biggest thing was the strain on the wire on, on his A frame. Interesting cave there off the left. No one's home. 
Yeah, you'd think you'd see a few things kind of growing on these underhang overhangs. Really sparse. Is there any um, current here at all? You can see some particles There's something moving. something right there. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, is there a current here, you guys? Um, there wasn't. Didn't Not seem as to much be much of one when we were playing around there in the mud. Yeah. There was, uh, I think our nose kind of into it a little bit on this, Eddie. Maybe a little more out of the north. Looks like another Chrysogorgia. Very, uh, Globular. Yeah. Bushy. You could put a valley port current meter on your wish list, right? Okay. Zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Be good to have one on the Yeah, like perfectly spherical. Almost. Yeah, that's cool. So many other corals we've been observing have been like adapted to the current and kind of there's a white into it or squat lobster. Squat lobster, lobster and that's very or translucent squat lobster. It's very well hidden in there. <laughs> that's great. Thank you. and uh, auto heading in depth and see which way we drift here. Who, who brought these? Well, and I. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Change from heading to depth. Sustenance. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> to maintain our course throughout this watch. Thank you. Bridge, this is Nev. Well, we're not. Uh, There's a little orange fish. Well, I just missed 40 it. meters at 330, please. Might have been a shrimp. I've had my uh, hands off the controls for a while there, and we've, we're basically not going anywhere. Oh. Yeah, interesting. Probably explains Big the difference. lack of animals. Yeah. Big yeah. And, uh, saying uh, speed over ground's saying point one, but I don't believe it. You know, we're sort of tucked into like this protected nook or something. All right. Oh my gosh. Where did you, you saw something you want to look at? Uh, no, it was just a shrimp sewn by. We're all good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there he is. Thank you, Malani. Thank you. Thank all of you guys. Mahalo. Did anybody see any Tana cops today? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. I heard they saw an octopus yesterday. Mmm, I heard. You saw the you saw the octopus yesterday. Oh.
There was a ton of cops right when we got off watch and the new watch came on. Auto altitude fail. You got to watch these when you click it in. It occasionally goes full stick. Hmm. Any suggestions for volunteer work or organizations slash companies to become involved with um, for someone who is interested in going into this field? Well, there's, there's just so many aspects of what this field really is. Um, so for, I think, deep submergence engineering, uh, you know, the offshore industry, oil and gas industry, um, survey industries use the similar deep submergence technology in ships. But for science, uh, companies that do science, what was the question? Just how to um, to work at organizations or companies, just to become more involved in in work in this kind of work. Well, most of us are from academic institutions, and so we're involved in research, and um, that's kind of where we have our home. And we, uh, those of us that are scientists, are. Um, teaching and working in research labs where we write proposals to um, foundations that would fund this sort of work. Um, Take a look at this here. Yeah. So we've all studied oceanography. The scientists on board have all studied oceanography or marine biology or similar disciplines. Could zoom in, Jeff, please. Thanks. Uh, if you're a student, um, there's a lot of engineering extracurriculars, I mean, at the college level, sometimes That's at the high good. school level, um, that get people involved in, like, robotics competitions and stuff. Yeah. There's, like, a national competition for ROVs or AVs uh, each year, I think in San Diego, where teams from all over the country and some other, actually all over the world, uh, come together to... I think they have to like build a robot that um, has multiple goals, and the more goals you manage to accomplish, then the more points you get. Um, so I think it's a great way to get your feet wet. I, I didn't mean that pun. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at a synaphobranchid eel here, I believe. Synaphobranchid eel. This is just me practicing my pronunciation here. Sure. My, uh, my first experience underwater engineering was building a human-powered submarine on a team in college. Um, and it was a wet submarine, so it was actually flooded, and you had to be in scuba gear to pilot it. <laughs> and oh, it was wow. basically a, you know, a bicycle, but underwater. Uh, so <laughs> That's very cool. big fiberglass shell. So that was, that was a fun intro. Are they doing underwater battle bots yet? That's what <laughs> I want to know. Mm -hmm. well, there's no. an idea. <laughs> I think underwater the battle is just to have <laughs> your bot survive <laughs> in the first place. Yeah, we don't need to be ramming them into, into each other, <laughs> huh? Yeah, the main competitions are, um, they need both um, judges and uh, they need uh, Helpers with the uh, for the kids with the yeah. tech mentors. Interesting sort That's of shaking that. behavior. This yeah, that is was exhibiting. Yeah, Steve was saying they do that to clear their gills. Oh, that makes sense. I always thought it was the uh, the noise or the light from the vehicle. Yeah. That That's what I was thinking. Bridge, sort of this model is color skin. Yeah different than the dark gray I'm used to. 40 meters at bearing 330, please. Looks like some little manganese nodules. Yeah. Scoopable, you think? 
Or are I don't they know. attached? They, they look, it looks kinda. almost like a pavement to me, but yeah, it's kinda. hard to tell. Some areas they look coalesced, and some areas not. Paul, were you the pilot of said human-powered sub? No, I okay. actually was Power not vehicle. the uh, pilot of that vehicle. <laughs> oh, there's a big sponge or something. Yep, you put telid glass sponge. But uh, I think we had to have like three people on scuba gear to help right. launch it, so I did that. Nice. Oh, this actually looks like polyopagon, potentially. Not a euplectelid. Polyopagon. Might actually be a good candidate for battle bots, just because I feel like most things break when you flood them, but your vehicle was already pre-flooded. <laughs> I don't know if you want to bring humans into the equation. No. Yeah, <laughs> seems pretty dangerous. What is this battle bot game you <laughs> speak of? <laughs> it's robots fighting each other with like fire and weapons. Oh, nice. The, the real weapon is basically like kinetic energy. So a lot of them are just like big, big, either vertical or horizontal, okay. like flywheels, basically. And they just um oh wow oh oh wow Whoa. That's right Ooh. whoa oh, I scared wow. wow he just ate wow. something he just try to zoom on that wow he just grabbed something that Where in did its he mouth come That's he a looks so face. mad he's he he really does look mad. Yes. what is this <laughs> he looks hungry has a mutu face I mutu think face. this type of fish is able to extend its jaws as well uh, it might be like related to the grenadier fish. It's got a very big head. A little current now. He's, he's, yeah, he's going with the current. Do you know what it's called? I do not. Wow, pretty oh. crazy looking. Wow. I've never really seen one like this. Yeah, really interesting. It reminds me of like a coconut and it just has the body of an eel. And then the arms are like the China cop arms. Yeah. You can't see what it has in its mouth, if anything. Say, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Little camera shy here. Wow. 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 Oh my gosh. The texture really of cool. the skull. He really knows Check how to perform. Check it out, he's got jetpacks. <laughs> this is so <laughs> interesting. <laughs> kind of creepy looking. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he has, he's in forever frown. That's a face only a fish biologist could love. <laughs> 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 it almost feels like his head is too big for his body. Yeah. 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 He looks sad. To think of all the moods that he I might know. look like. <laughs> looks like he's got party store eyes, too. He's opening his mouth. <laughs> I wow. thought he just, he, yeah, I think he has a fish in his mouth or something. Really cool. The texture of its <laughs> skull is so interesting. Yeah, looks like he has like pores or. So if I still remember something from. Okay, Mar I, we gotta go. Marine bio classes. Deep sea nice. fishes nice are fine. St structured like this because um, food is hard to come by. So. If they have the opportunity oh. to find something, they really want to be able to eat the thing. Even if it's big, right? Right, so that's why they have the really large mouths. And huh. Yeah.
wind up with no tether turns out of all that. So the fish ties us in knots. <laughs> We'll have to try to get a, a ID on that fish somehow. Send it to uh, someone. Yeah, I saw the uh, the first highlight reel from this expedition didn't uh, include any eight to twelve watch highlights, so we were <laughs> due for some <laughs> cool creatures. We got the uh, yawning, the yawning guy was on. Yeah. What is this? Bridge, this is Nev. Really? No highlights from all of our foot no. diving? I know. It might have been from the first couple dives where we were kind of on the blue water shift. Oh, yeah. 40 meters at 330, please. Megan was saying we have some good coral shots from our, our watch in some clips she was putting together today, so. Mm, all nice. right. Uh, all there too. Yeah, same species we saw earlier with that purple anterior. A funky angle on the rock. There. Yeah, yeah. Weird. You ever see these guys swim? They're pretty funny looking. What's their method of swimming? They kind of look like just scissor themselves kind of caterpillar know, yeah like a caterpillar wow i'm not sure about these guys but the ones that have larger sort of appendages oh can't really see it's two feet going there you know it might oh. gonna oh, swim maybe for it no i'm dressed in it sorry i'm twisting oh that's you doing it yeah See that uh, Argus view, Dan? It's like twisting the vehicle. What's that? It, uh, yeah, Paul, <coughs> watch your um, is that shrimp. Look yeah. at your uh, pigeon roll. Look at his little legs. <laughs> oh, you're pretty up the page. Just keep swimming. Well, uh, should be on the pilot page. That's pretty wild. Was it? Was that? There was another movie. I think. Was it like Happy Feet Three or Two? Or it was Happy Feet Two. And they have that whole colony or mm -hmm. that bunch of krill, yeah. And then you had like the two that ran away because they had some like existen existential crisis or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Whoa. one of them. A jellyfish. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is that down it's there? It's unusual for those guys not to. What's that? Black away floating that fast. object. Let's Whoa. take a look. Oh, that's Ooh. that's the holothurian, I think. Oh wait, no. This is something. Is jellyfish. jellyfish? No. Turn on the porch light. Oh, oh wow. my gosh! I think this is a tina wow. four. Wow, tina four. Oh. A tina four. I don't know. Or I don't comb see jelly. the. Oh yeah, you don't see the comb structure. Interesting. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Might be a. That's it. Does it I have eyes? Oh my gosh. I've seen something like this Me before. Too. What are I you? Wish One of these guys in our highlights video. So cool. I don't see its eyes. Wait, what is it? A jellyfish? Is it a holothurian? It might be a holothurian. This oh, is yeah. You can see. Yeah, that's definitely not a xenophore. Yeah. That's you his see um, its oral surface there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So a type of sea cucumber That's potentially. Really cool. Very cool. Wow. This is like one of those videos that you would have Good playing game. on at the Apple store. <laughs> really Look dancing. At that. That's wild. Trying to attack me. Might be able to get a little help in the thrusters. 
I was backing up because trying to splat the camera. It's so cool. This is totally going on a highlight. Yeah. Like maybe we can highlight this like number five. Now he's doing the interpretive thing. So you think the thrusters are pushing him around? I did there at the end when I yeah. I had to, when he got real close. I had to back up when he saw all the debris in the water. <laughs> Yeah, you can turn them up now. I was going to say, yeah, lose the porch lights and all. You can zoom in a little and try again. He was uh, coming under the lights towards the camera, so it was going to get dark. The swimming appendages are so cool. A swimming sea cucumber? Almost there. Wow. Headless chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I was told totally Wasn't that the name of something, actually? <laughs> I think there is a headless oh, chicken wow. in the deep sea, yeah. <laughs> headless rubber chicken! <laughs> right, Megan? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think they look like Count Chocula. <laughs> 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 kind of creepy looking from this angle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is kind of crazy. Still going. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so cool. My new color for the year I know. is this color right here that we're seeing. Like maroon. What? Whoa, it's, I'm like tripping at the way it swims. Like, yeah. That is really amazing. wild. It just pushes itself along. So does it eventually stop swimming and settles in the sand? Yeah, for sure. I wonder how it gets... Oh, okay. Okay. Right, nice flying. Follow him. Bye yeah, bye. awesome. I have a potential uh, genus identification on it, so this might be an anipniastes. Oh, anipniastes. Anipriastes. And just stop swimming and thinks. Bye. It is monotypic, re represented by a single species, Anipniastes eximia, due to its unique appearance. Bridge, this is now. Wow, cool. This is the headless chicken, Dwight. It is. Good call. <laughs> headless chicken, three three zero, please. Fish, headless chicken monster, or the Spanish dancer. <laughs> right. See, I'm getting my Spanish stuff down. <laughs> the Spanish dancer. Some are called the pink see-through fantasia. Or I do. Wow. Thanks. Amazing. Probably because I'm. If I do it quietly, does it still do it? I see. It's a loud shut off. Sorry. Dwight, you really willed that into existence. You said swimming sea cucumber. And about I know. Yeah. Have 60 you ever seen seconds him later. Yeah, it's wild. I didn't expect that. Is it the same? That, that, one, that one, one was swimming differently than the other ones I've seen swimming out. Yeah. If you ask, you may receive. Yep. What else? What can we predict next? Hmm. Um, I go for a whale. <laughs> that would be cool. It's a big swing. I'm I'm gonna go octopod, some kind of octopod. Dumbo. That would be great. Dumbo octopus. That looks like a colophagus. Colophagus. What is he? Right. Stocked sponge. You come down yeah. a bit, Paul. Uh, for a second, then I'll come back up the hill. Really tall stock. Yeah. Super. Hey, Cole. Uh 
huakai. Huakai. This is a huakai sponge. Might pull that on How many valve rocks do we have? Two. Two already? Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. come back up the hill now. You can we'll come save up them for the end of the dive. Coming up, are you? You coming up? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Thanks for that. Looks like a little red thing Single down digits. there on the rock. Yep. Might have been a mushroom coral. I'm not sure. I think it was a mushroom coral. Sorry, I'm moving a little fast here to no get problem. back up on the... I've seen lots of them. After staring at rocks and just straight up rocks for you most of these dives, up. it's kind of a nice fresh breath air to see You can keep sand. coming up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually it's the other way around. Stare at a lot of mud. Yeah. Waiting for the rocks. Waiting for the rocks. Woohoo, rock. <laughs> There's something swimming over there. Swimming. On our um, Atlanta. Oh, oh Atlanta. it's getting steep here. I need to get out, back up in front of you. Oh, never mind. It's like full vertical up there. Ryan, yes. does um, what we're doing here um, relate to your PhD that you're working on? Um, not necessarily, really. Um, mostly here just in a support role helping identify things where I can and process the biological samples. It is helping me be a better natural historian, though. I'm learning so much. Um, okay. It's a great opportunity to box. work in the North Pacific. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been on an expedition like this before? I have been on a, a couple of deep sea expeditions. Um, look with bubble and see how many weights sea mounts are, are new to me for expeditions. Um, so yeah, this is quite new to me. A lot of this. So all three are still on there. We're going to pitch a weight here, guys. Okay. Are you studying a specific um, animal or...? No, I'm a, I'm a little more broad ecologist, really. So I'm, uh, I do work a lot on coral reefs off the east coast of the USA, formed by one species of deep-sea coral, Lophelia pertusa. Mm -hmm. um, but I really study the whole community aspect there. So I'm looking at really all the organisms that live on those reefs, mm. um, ha where and why they are where they are, and mm -hmm. uh, potentially how they might be affected by climate change. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Do we study the videos after the dive and make notes and take, um, take information from the, them? Uh, top, the, the rope on the left. Yes, uh, Chris Kelly's research group have frequently done done that. Um, usually, individual science groups do their own sort of annotations for their own science and research. It depends project by project. We certainly use the video for lots of uh, educational materials and highlights and uh, you know clips to post online or to use in presentations. And um, it's sort of just part of the permanent record, so we can always go back and take another look at things. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, what we hope 
is to have sort of AI algorithms, machine learning algorithm algorithms that can uh, process the video for I us, and then come in like you're going to create it. Um, Show for my knife. sort of automated annotations of sorts. You know and what I mean? Uh, mm. Help us document things a little easier. Mm. There's already efforts to do that. The other way, Paul, like you're going to curl cut. And Bari is one Swing of the leaders. Swing the arm out to the right. Come out of there. Yeah, yeah. I was just in a workshop hosted by them the about yeah, that same topic. Really interesting. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Is that the fathom net? Yes. Yeah, yeah I missed that. Yeah, so someone has a question about the Lophelia reefs on the East Coast yeah, good. Um, and why they sort of stay there, mm -hmm. whereas skeletons tend to dissolve here. A lot of that has to do with the chemistry of the seawater. Um, so we're quite a bit deeper here than Lophelia reefs tend to occur. And so um, typically we're below Rich. the this aragonite saturation, which is what they make their skeletons out of. And so when the water isn't um, saturated in that mineral, um, 40 meters Skele at 330, skeletons please. tend to dissolve, and they have a corals have a harder time building sort of um, stony stony corals have a harder time building skeletons, um, and so you don't get big buildup of skeleton down here because it dissolves once they're dead, basically. Well, wow, here's a pretty impressive wall. Yeah. Can you, uh, you bear? grab no. Argus and come up? It's a wall of death coming. Wow. <laughs> That big. That's on our target. That's good for now. There's a couple things on it in the middle there. Oh yeah, Christ of Origin. Yeah, I did him for El Capitan. Fire. Yeah, really. To my understanding, the videos will become accessible to the public, but there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done before it can be accessed by the larger crowd. Ultimately, all these dives are um, archived on YouTube mm. in addition to other places. Really cool formations here. Another colophagus glass sponge. Not a whole lot of life here, though. steeper. Well, it already has gotten steeper Ryan, as we progress. <coughs> Zoom in a bit there, Jeff. Yeah, what are we looking at here? There's a cave. Mm. Urchin, potentially. I could push in a bit more if you want. It's floating. Oh, mm -hmm. it's in midair. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's it's anchored on each Siphonophore, side. maybe? Siphonophore. I don't know. Is that an urchin? 
No, no it's, got, it's in midair. You can see the uh, fibers going to the rock on the left and the right. Yeah. Yeah. It made like a cobweb. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Is it really going uh, all the way to the... Yeah, what it's, a, uh, uh, it's like what strung it? between those rocks. Well, I want to say tunic. Tunicate? Yeah, predatory. That's tunic. so Is that interesting. Right? Wow. Predatory. What, what does it eat? Oh, whatever. I don't know. I wonder if Is it's it really attached to the rocks, you think? You can yeah. kind of you can kind of see the they look like yeah, little the fibers go webs. way out. I wonder if this is the animal that's making those cobweb like things that we've been seeing. I can't park there. <laughs> it's raining stuff down. What is it? Wow, I don't know. That's amazing. I hey, uh, Forbidden yeah. lychee. It's probably another fo oh. Something just dropped off it. <coughs> yeah, that we we Go ahead, another watch saw uh, a uh, dandelion siphonophore a couple dives ago, and really? it was shedding off its tentacles Roger. a little bit like that. That was really neat. It's like guarding totally. the cave. Yeah. <laughs> what is the password to the cave? If you don't know it, you may. I think not we want to try to get some better imagery on this if you can. Yeah. Is it possible to? Right. Different angle there. I think the uh, Herc brow was touching there somewhere. Yeah. Is this an animal new to science? Could be, I bet. Da, da, da. That's the dandelion siphonophore. Oh, it does look like the dandelion siphonophore. That was not very clever. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so this is a siphonophore. Oh yeah, look, you can see this one has the same. It's a big one though. The others so I've seen are tiny. Siphonophores are clonal animals. So they're composed. It's, uh, it's in too much of a hole there. I can't. No. Can't do can't it. Get well, I it. think we found. Yeah, look. Okay, we got pretty good images of it. Thank you. It just Thank you. Completely uh, blew it out there. One wrong thrust to move, and that was it. That's cool. Is there usually more or less life in a cave? I think it depends on. It. Oftentimes, uh, you get an organism inhabiting a cave, cave like hole. a fish or something. <laughs> And, we, you know, we've been seeing a lot of overhangs, and we see a ton of corals on those. Mm -hmm. So, like, the top of the we cave is a really nice environment. That dandelion. Good thing we pitched that way. Wow. Smooth, yeah. Uh, El Capitan. 20 meters at uh, 225, please. 225? Um. Yeah. Bridge, this is Nev. Twenty meters at bearing two two five, please. Wow. We still have wall and Argus sonar, huh? Yeah. Well it's starting to go away there. We've seen a lot of pelagic sort of animals today. Yeah. That I'm definitely not That's used so to different. seeing. I know. Yeah. I'm glad we did this dive. It's quite different from previous dives. 
Okay, you can uh, kind of see this mass wasting here where rocks have just back to kind of fallen off. Now. Yeah. Bridge, this is enough. Um, it has to do with the density of different five, layers please. of water. So, uh, stop the current movement. Um, warm water sits on top of cooler water, so at, at the bottom of the ocean you get mm. very cold water. And that is why the water is cold. What's he doing on this cliff? Yeah, just getting what sediment it can yeah. from the rocks. Sure uh -oh. is. We just blew him away. Uh -huh. He just spent his whole lifetime climbing. <laughs> <laughs> Sediment's better at the bottom. Can't even anyways. turn around. Yeah. yeah, we're doing them a favor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a little stretch. Um. When we collect things from the bottom of the ocean, they don't really, so, um, they aren't really affected by the change in pressure, yeah? Bridge, this is them. Yeah, so most of the organisms are filled with water, and so they're... Please hold um, position. You bring them up, they generally stay intact. Mm -hmm. um, things that have pockets of air in them, like a, a fish with a swim bladder, uh, would really be affected when you bring them up because that, that air inside of them would expand as you bring it up. I don't know. Stay with me. Don't come too far above me. We're good. No, you're 20 meters away. I feel like we've solved the mystery as to where the cobwebs are coming from. You think so? <laughs> That thing does look like, that thing did look like it would make a mean cobweb. Totally. Is <laughs> it mean, Jeff? This looks like it's been there a while, potentially, so there's it's accumulated some sediment. It looks like there's a little trail from a uh, lolly right above on that rock top part, too. Oh, yeah. It's a good spot. Mm -hmm. Go made a porch light to get a close-up on that. Right. I'm totally convinced that that's what that ob what was it called again? Siphon monophore. That that was the, <laughs> the life. I'm not sure. They're all like triangular, though. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Could have interesting. Is it a growing mesh. something that growing or something? Could it be the type of sponge, maybe? I don't know. That's full zoom, is it? It is. Good. Awesome, thanks. Looks good. Another one. Another one. Flatten out there a bit. So. Okay, Katachi, you can uh, kick him back into gear. Thanks. Bridge, this is Nev. Forty meters at three one five, please. Just 
still pretty steep here, but not quite cliff, not, not the same cliff. You have to pour chugs on. Big sea cucumber. Yeah, it's on that. Bless you. It's just like cliff doesn't go around. It was just a it's all gentle sloping here. Yeah, just one sided. Interesting. Where I live when it's here. Yeah, I just wanted to pop over and see if that feature kept going, but it does not appear to. I'll come back. If you come back towards the other direction though, I kind of see a blip on Argus, maybe it does to the right. Yeah. So is there. that waypoint three at the top of the screen? Yep. Okay, thanks. Check out to the right. Oh yeah, I see what you're on about. Maybe it drops off there. That's really pretty. is so long sponge and then like the outside texture looks like the same kind of sponge that we like collected a sample of the other day yeah yeah so this is also a glass sponge polisoma i think good call paul and put the atalanta view on there too i feel Oh yeah, that's a cool shot with the big rock there. Totally. That's what you were seeing, is that edge of that rock. Do we have like an estimate on how far her lights allows us to see? Sorry, what was that? How far the light allows us to see? Mm -hmm. um, Not very far. It's like so 15 meters or so. It might be a little farther than that, though. If, yeah, if that. Not Could as far as you can see this? with your uh, car headlights. That's for sure. Mm, is that a crinoid? It yeah. looks like a crinoid. Yeah, at first I thought it was a brittle star, sort of all laid out. But so kind of for reference, the only way that we can actually see Herc with Argus is because, um, or Atalanta, is because Herc has its own lights. Right. The lights from Atalanta wouldn't, wouldn't let us see it very well otherwise. That one looks like Uluhe. Would you agree, Ipo? <laughs> I do agree. So pretty. Yeah, so you can really tell they're related to sea stars. This one, see the perfect five arms and the central sort of surface, oral surface. Now I want to see it swim. <laughs> really long arms on this one. Very cool. You said sea star, yeah? Oh. Crinoid. Crinoid. Related to sea stars. Okay. So
Can't keep coming up. Oh, I got a bit of red there coming up in Argus again. The ship move is still 315, right? Correct. Yep. Do you want to stay pointed this direction, Dan? Yeah, for now. I'm kind of rubbly off to the other way there. Yeah. 